We are having fun right here at the premiere of Domitila, the reboot produced by Film One, Film Tribe, and Zeb Ejiro, who also directs this movie. Remember, he directed the masterpiece, the classic, in 1996. Yeah, today we are back for the reboot, and I can't wait to see what he has in store for us. Now, this movie is the talk of the town right now because, one, the story is a classic, and Zeb Ejiro is making a comeback. And I'm super excited for tonight. The theme of this premiere says futuristic glam. And I can't wait to see how my guests today are going to take us to the future. I want to see how the fashion will look like in the future through them. And I really cannot wait to show you how they look like tonight. So keep watching our Forever TV. My name is Ahina Arthur. I'll be right back. What's up, my people? It's Fresh Prince Felix in the building, and we are here for Domitila. Domitila uh. reboot. And I, I mean, I'm just citing the director of the film. Um, I mean, before we talk to him, let me quickly ask you. Zeb Ejiro decided to make a reboot of his original work. Tell yeah. me, what are you expecting tonight? Oh, wow. When someone like Zeb decides to do something, you know, it's definitely something that is going to blow the minds of people. I mean, he's a veteran director and producer. And um, Domitila being a hit back in the days, and now we're having it being repackaged. We just can't wait to see what he has to give us. Why did you want to remake this masterpiece, Domitila? You've answered the question. Because it's a masterpiece. Because it's a masterpiece. And you cannot let a masterpiece just die that way. And if you saw Domitila 1, you need to see this. And when you see this, you will be the one to say, hey, Zeb, we need another. <laughs> I actually had to watch the Mithila one again. And for me, I love the, the, the way the story was told. One minute you are laughing, the next minute you are like, did this just happen? I'm, I'm sure you're bringing, you, you brought those elements into this. And that same reaction you got when you were watching that one, yeah. you get two times that reaction in this Hey, well, hello, are you ready? In every woman, there is a snake. A snake that lives in between her thighs. Tame it. And she will give you control over men. How much fun was it playing your character? Um, it was fun and it was it was nerve-wracking. Um, because there's some pressure because it's a reboot and you know that you have to bring your A game. So as much as it was fun, it was a lot of pressure and I can't wait to see the film, I can't wait to see how it all turns out. When you saw the trailer, when you hear that Jamitila is going to come back, mm -hmm. what came to your mind? Have you seen the first one? Yes, I saw the first one. I haven't, I haven't watched it from the beginning to the end, but I've gotten the general gist from the first one. And I kind of like that I haven't seen the whole thing because I want to watch this and then go back to watch that and see if we paid homage to what the beauty that was. So tell me about your character in this film. Uh, I would say, if I would describe her in three words, I would say she's very determined, she's very passionate, and she's somewhat naive. Yes. Uh, yeah. What's her name? Uh, you're going to find out when you see the film. <laughs> so tell me, what are some of the things that you and the director discussed about this character? How did he want you to, to play this character? I think he wanted me to humanize the character because she's your, what you would call your regular girl. She's not the 1% of the 1%. She's a girl that you would find sitting next to you on the bus. She's a girl that could be your co-worker. She's your average Nigerian. So she, he wanted me to play it uh, as humanly possible as ever. Hi, it's good to see you here, right here at the premiere of Domitila 2. Have you seen the part one? No, I haven't seen. Um, you see back then as a child? No. What were you watching? <laughs> what were you watching? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, I feel like they've given so much depth into a seemingly shallow story. You know when people just say I shower and shower and the rest of it? I feel like there's more depth to it. Yeah. And that's what this movie is doing. And it, it's I, I can't wait to see it. Who do you want to be? No, I am willing to go all the way. This one will not be just burst, can't be scared, I shall watch the real you don't hear before. This one has real life. I shall not be walking. They are ready to sky be. This will say, Casa Lafitte, boss at any time. But tell me, what are you going to be looking out for tonight? 
Um, I'm going to be looking out for one, the red carpet, how people represented the mood board. You know, there was a mood board, so I'm hoping people, you know, paid attention to it. And there's a price tag for it. Yes. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing amazing. You're out here today to support um, Zeb Ajiro and the entire family of um, Domitila the Reboot. Yes, and I also happen to be a member of the family of uh, Domitila. Yeah, in this movie. You yeah. know what? I will not just bother checking for cast. I'll just say, are they amazing in this movie? You know what? <laughs> they are amazing in almost every movie in the cinema. What is going on? Tell me about working with Zeb Ajiro as a director. You are the DOP and him as the director of this project. Um, he reminded me of how it feels like to, to want to make stories and not just film stuff. So I feel like working with him was like, remind me of why I started making films in the first place, to tell stories and not just... Well, what do you mean by that? Because nowadays, most people want to just shoot fine pictures. They want cleanliness, mad sets, but there's no core story that's quite interesting. So he, he maybe, um, um, what's called like, like member that I need to like shoot a good story, a wonderful story. Tell me, what are your expectations? Well, um, I mean, most importantly, I just hope that people have fun. I mean, as much fun as we had making the film. Um, Hold up, you're in the project. Um, yes. <laughs> Yeah. So I uh, yeah, I'm one of the producers of Domicila. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. Well now you know. I know. <laughs> right. So I mean um we it, it was it was so much fun. I would say it was so much fun because I mean sometimes work is actually fun. But I would say that we had fun making this film. Um a lot of blood and sweat here and there. So most importantly, you know when when I don't have made the soup, yeah. you are now hoping that you know people enjoy the soup as much as you know you you enjoyed making it so for me that's that's i think it's about everyone here much more than me tonight yeah tell me about the whole process of you know accepting to do this project putting it together and now we're here for the premiere man at first it was more of like i just felt honored man i got a call from mr moses of film one and mimi Bartels. Film One Studios and Mr. Zeb, and they wanted me to partner with them on the film. And I was like, ah, ah. it means that I might have done something right. Too. But I just thank God. It was with everything, there are challenges, and I thank God that we're here. It was a lot of hard work, and I just pray that everybody that's in it gets to shine. No! Please, was this thing over?